Welcome to Go Get It. Today we are going to see conflict serializable schedule. Before we proceed further, I would strongly recommend please go through the video which is based on schedules, transactions and the problems associated with the schedules. There we have the, seen the conflict uh, schedules and the serial schedules. So conflict serializable schedule. So as per the definition of conflict serializable schedule, it says that any given concurrent schedule to know about concurrent schedule, please refer the video mentioned at the bottom or the description of this video. So any concurrent schedule is said to be a conflict serializable schedule if and only if it is conflict equivalent to one of the possible serial schedule. So before we move to conflict equivalent, what does this conflict equivalent keyword means? We'll first see possible serial schedule. What does this mean? As we have seen that serial schedules, schedules are nothing but the transactions, set of transactions. Say for example, you have a transaction T1 and T2. This is a schedule one and some, uh, some transactions, some instructions are associated with this. So serial schedule means the transactions, uh, uh, I mean the instructions of transaction T1 will perform first and then T2. So the possible serial schedules that means is T1, first T1 will execute and then T2 or first T2 will execute and then T1. So these are the two possible serial schedules for this schedule. In case of three transactions, say we have T1, T2, T3. So in this case, we'll have two raised to three, that is eight possible serial schedule. So I hope you got like T1 will execute, then T2, then T3 then T1, T3, T2. Likewise, we'll get total eight schedules. That is possible serial schedule. Now we'll move our concentration towards conflict equivalent. Now, what does this conflict equivalent means? Now conflict equivalence is nothing but for any two schedules, S1 and S2, say for example, you have S1 and S2, these two schedules, these two schedules are said to be conflict equivalent with each other if and only if the order of all the possible existing conflicting operations. Say this S1 has T1 and T2. This is also having T1 and T2. So this will have, we are actually, we are discussing about concurrent schedules. So by default, we will consider concurrent schedules. So this will have some conflicting operations. Say for example, Right, uh, read write, uh, write read or read write something like that or write write. So these are the possible uh, conflicting operations. So what it says, two schedules S1 and S2 are said to be equivalent, a conflict equivalent with each other if and only if the order of all possible conflicting operations is same in both the schedules. Say for example, in S1 we have only write read conflicting operations for T1 and T2. So in the same order in S2 also there should exist one conflicting operations in the write read manner. Then only these two schedules are said to be conflict equivalent. Say uh, we will consider uh, one example here. Say uh, we have S1 with T1 and T2. So we have R of A right of A, R of B, right of B. So this is one schedule. We'll consider another schedule, T1 and T2. We have uh, right of A, right of B, read of A, read of B. And the third schedule would be with T1 and T2. R of A and R of B. So you can see here this S3 is nothing but a serial schedule of S1. So uh, if you see the definition of uh, the conflict serializable schedule, this schedule T1 and T2, the uh, existing conflicting operations is read write. You can see this. 
This is a read write conflicting operations. So for S1 and uh, for S1 schedule and S2 schedule, let's compare S1 and S2. So you can see here we have write and read conflicting operations. So this S1 and S2 are not conflict equivalents. Now let's compare S1 with S3. S3 has read write again I mean read write conflicting operations two times. So we can say directly here that S1 and S3 are conflict equivalent. I hope you are with me with the definitions whatever we are seeing here. So we can directly say that S1 is conflict equivalent to S3. So as uh, the number of conflicting operations here also two times read write and here also two times that's why S1 and S3 are conflict equivalent schedules. I hope you are clear with the uh, conflict equivalence definition. Now uh, let's jump into one of the algorithm which is uh, very useful or which can be applied to validate whether the given concurrent schedule is conflict serializable or not. So that algorithm is called as uh, your precedence graph algorithm. You must have heard about this algorithm precedence graph algorithm. This algorithm help us to determine whether the given schedules are conflict serializable or not. Please note that we are discussing about concurrent schedules. We are not discussing about serial schedules. So this algorithm step one says that note down the transactions associated with the schedule. Say for example, you have schedule S1 with transaction T1 and T2. So we will create the nodes of the graph with T1 and T2. Second step says that starting from each and every node, starting from each and every node of the graph, each and every transaction identify all the, uh, and I mean, uh, you have to identify all the possible existing conflicting operations. So say for example, we have here uh, read operation, we have write operation, we have write here, read here. So here possible operation, uh, conflicting operations, we can say read write, write write, then uh, write read. So these kind of are the possible uh, conflicting operations. And we have to uh, plot these uh, conflicting operations in the graph, say in the form of arrows, say T1. So for example, consider this only read write. So from T1 to T2, we have read write only. So T1 to T2, we will plot in this manner. So you can see here and this arrows direction does matter. So you can see here, we have directed an arrow from T1 to T2 because there is a conflicting operations from T1 to T2 read write. If it is write write, then we will draw T2 to T1. I hope you are with me. And the last and the, uh, I mean, uh, after this uh, third step would come as, we need to check after the construction of the precedence graph, whether is there any cycle or loop in the present graph. So uh, say for example, cycle or loop means T1 and T2 we have. So we have one arrow like this and we have another arrow like this. So this uh, creates a cycle. So this cycle, if such cycle is found out in the precedence graph, then the given schedule from which the transactions have been taken is not conflict serializable schedule. If at all, see the, this is the third step. So fourth step would be, if at all, there are no cycles present, say T1 and T2. So you can see here, there is no cycle present in the precedence graph and this is the final graph. For example, for instance, you can say this. So in such case, another algorithm will be applied on the precedence graph algorithm that is topological sorting. So this is a part of mathematics. You must have read about this topological sorting. So in topological sorting, what happens? We will consider the in degree. Don't worry about the uh, uh, explanation. We will consider uh, two, three problems where I can explain the topological sorting, how to perform. So in topological sorting, this procedure gets applied on the graph, this kind of graph to find the node with in degree zero always. So in degree zero, you should know about all this in degree and out degree of a graph. So T1 to T2, this graph is there for this in degree is one and I mean, I is one. And for this in degree is zero. 
and out degree is 1 that is in degree is nothing but number of uh, uh, edges going out of the nodes so that is uh, that defines the in degree of a node given node so we have to find the nodes with in degree 0 always so for this in degree is 0 we will consider t2 first after selecting this node this approach ignores that selected node we will consider uh, i mean we will ignore this t2 and we will note it down t2 and delete all the associated edges with this with this uh, selected node say uh, we have a graph here i am drawing here this space crunch t1 t2 and t3 So here you can see that T1, T2, T3, there is no cycle. You can consider the, uh, you can notice the directions of arrow. So here in degree 0, we need to calculate first. T2 in degree is 1, T3 in degree is 2, for T1, T in degree is 0. So we will consider, we will consider T1 first. And then delete all the nodes of T1 and T1 itself. Then all the edges which are emerging from T1. Now you can see the in degree of T3 is 1 and in degree of T2 is 0. Then again we will consider T2. Delete all the nodes and uh, edges associated and we are rest with T3. So this is nothing but the equivalent um, schedule which is T1, T2 and T3. Equivalent schedule which is produced by the precedence graph algorithm. Now we will directly move or jump into the uh, problem solving of this uh, conflict serializable schedule. So we have first problem here. First problem says that we have R3 of X or I will directly draw the schedule here T1, T2, T3. So for T3 we have R of X. For T2 we have R of X, W of X and for T1 we have R of X, W of X. This is the given schedule in the question. Now we need to determine whether it is this uh, given schedule S1 is serializable or not. So as per the complete serializable definition we will al apply the precedence graph algorithm here. We will draw the nodes T1, T2 and T3. Now draw the edges. So we can see here T3 to T2 we don't have anything. But T2 to T3 we can say our read write conflict operations is there. So we will draw a edge from T2 to T3. Again from T3 to T1 we have. And then uh, T2 this uh, this one you can consider t2 to t t1 this is the conflicting operation so t2 to t1 so you can see here there is no cycle in this graph so we can directly say that this is conflict serializable schedule and we'll show the shed uh, and we can show the schedule also here the equivalent schedule will be so in degree for t2 is 0 for t3 is 1 and for t1 it is 2 so we will consider T2 first, delete this node and the edges, we have uh, T3 as in degree 0 and T1 as 1, so T2, T3 and T1 is the equivalent schedule. Now next problem we will consider as again T1, T2, T3, we have R of X, W of X. W of X and finally W of X. Again the same uh, algorithm we will follow. Draw the nodes here. T1, T2, T3. So uh, from T1 to T2 we will draw the no, uh, edge. From T2 to T1 before that I uh, will draw the edge for T2 to T3 
we have right right conflicting operations and again you can see here we have right right conflicting operation for t2 to t1 so t2 to t1 so you can see here we have a cycle in the graph so this schedule given schedule is not conflict equivalent schedule conflict serializable schedule so uh, the last and the final problem we will consider third problem we have been given with two schedules s1 and s2 s1 has t1 and t2 r of x r of y r of x r of y w of y here also t1 and t2 we have r of x r of x w of y w of y so we need to tell here the question is which of these given s1 or s2 is conflict serializable schedule so we have to tell whether the given uh, schedules any of the schedules is a conflict serializable schedule or not so for s1 we will draw first t1 and t2 so we have from r uh, read x to uh, read y to uh, w y will draw Uh, sorry, uh, I forgot one more here. Uh, there is one W X here. So uh, from R Y to W Y, from T1 to T1, and W Y to W X, or read X to W X. This is the conflicting operation. So we will draw again here. So from this graph, we can directly say that S1 is not at all. Uh, serial serializable schedule for s2 we can consider t1 and t2 so from uh, t1 to t2 uh, can we see anything mm, we do have from t2 to t1 so t2 to t1 is in arrow now uh, you must be confused here why i am not drawing from t1 to t2 as you will be considering this read of x and read of w of y but that the you can see the data item con uh, uh, the data item considered here is x and y so there is no conflicting operations conflicting operations occurs only on the same data item when two read or write or write write or write read operations are performed so we are not drawing the second arrow and hence you can say that s2 is the conflict serializable schedule with this we finish the conflict serializable schedule in our next session we will see the view serializable schedule and uh, please uh, do mail us on our uh, mail id demand at gogateiit.com you can demand uh, you can demand all your needs of computer science subject topics thanks for listening have a great day